This video demonstrates the use of interactive groundwater to create a simple two-dimensional groundwater flow model. A simple rectangular model domain is created with uniform hydraulic conductivity and prescribed head boundaries along the east and west edges and no flow boundaries along the north and south edges. The model is discretized and run to solve for groundwater head. The solution shows the head contours and the corresponding flow directions. A pumping well is placed near the eastern edge of the model and the impact of this additional sink term on the groundwater flow is shown. This video illustrates the ease of creating a simple groundwater flow model using IGW and also how the model can be easily modified in real time. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. Choose the unit system. Go to the Utilities drop-down menu and select Set Global Units. In this example we use the metric system. Also available is the English system or the user can customize their own set of units. 2. Set the extent of the modeling workspace. Click on the Model Scale and Base Map icon in the Icon Toolbar in the top left corner of the IGW workspace. In this example, a 10,000 meter by 10,000 meter workspace is used. 3. Define the extent of the aquifer. Click on the Create Zone Assign Parameters icon in the Icon Toolbar. And to create a rectangle, hold Shift, single click in the top left hand corner of the modeling domain, and then single click again in the bottom right hand corner of the modeling domain to finish creating the polygon. Next, edit the properties of this polygon in the Attributes Explorer. Go to the Flow Properties tab, check the Conductivity box, and assign a constant conductivity value. Next, go to the Elevations tab, check the box next to Top Elevation, and assign a constant Top Elevation value. Then, check the Bottom Elevation slash Thickness box, and assign a constant bottom elevation. 4. Create a polygon representing the river along the left side of the boundary. Edit the properties in the Attributes Explorer by going to the Source and Sinks tab and checking the Head Dependent Flux two-way. Assign River as the polygon title from the pull-down menu, set a constant stage value, set a constant bottom elevation value, and set a constant leakage value. Create a line segment of prescribed head along the right side of the boundary by clicking on the Create Polylines Assign Parameters icon in the icon toolbar. Create the polyline by single clicking in the top right corner of the modeling domain and finishing the polyline by double clicking in the bottom right hand corner of the modeling domain. Open Attributes Explorer and assign a constant prescribed head. 6. Discretize the model. Select the Deep Discretization icon in the icon toolbar Assign an NX value of 41, or 41 grid cells in the X direction. Note that the NY value is automatically updated. Finish by selecting Discretize slash OK. 7. Run the model forward by selecting the Run Model Forward icon in the icon toolbar. Note that the groundwater flow patterns are now shown on the screen. 8. Insert a pumping well by clicking on the Add Well icon in the icon toolbar. Edit the properties in Attributes Explorer and assign a constant withdrawal rate. 9. Discretize and rerun the model and note the new flow patterns that have developed around the well. 10. Save the model by going to File, Save As, and selecting Conceptual Model.